it's been such an honor to be mayor for the past three terms or the past six years and I think important work has been done in that time but there's still much to do and I wanted to continue working on these issues and solidify the changes that we've put in place and really make sure that Lompoc continues to improve and grow and see the results we've seen over the past four years. And um, what changes or improvements would you like to see uh, in Lompoc? So we've made so many improvements over the past couple of years by making sure that we've gotten new uh, radios in the police department and body cams for our police department, replacing our fire engines that were almost 30 years old and investing nearly six million in the parks. But we still have many issues to deal with. A few parks still need investment. We have street issues that we need to address. We're understaffed as a whole. We are fully staffed in our police department, but for a city our size, we still need about 40 more officers. So I'd love to grow our department so that we can respond better to issues within our community. Um, we have seen a 22% reduction in crime, but we'd like to see that grow. And that takes manpower. Um, I'd like to see us be able to do more traffic response and we need additional officers to do that. I'd like to make sure our fire department is increased in staff as well. We're seeing a lot of overtime due to the um, demands that we're seeing in the community and we have the potential increase if the county agrees to it in the future of adding ambulance service to our uh, fire department and so as a result you're going to see an additional de demand for those public safety issues but we are making inroads on those and then last but not least making sure we grow and are more inviting to a variety of jobs in our community we see the space launch commercial area in growing the demand for housing is still there we do see new housing coming to our community. Nearly 600 homes are due to be built in the next couple of years. And there's more propositions coming to us about where to build those, what kind to build. And so for me, workforce housing is a priority. Um, being able to house not only the city staff, police, fire, and utility workers, and the hospital workers, nurses, the school district, it's such a huge demand right now that Despite having nearly 700 houses on the books, we're gonna need quite a bit more as the base expands. So working on those issues to make sure that we continue the streamlining in our permit and policy areas, that we have the appropriate staff to deal with the applications coming through, and that we're ready and willing to support new businesses in our community. And um, what is the main focus of your campaign? Well, I think it's educating our community on what we've gotten done in the past four years, all the investment that's been made in our community to make it safer as a whole, from the parks to improving our public safety departments and the equipment and modernization that we're doing, as well as talking about the issues that are still outstanding why we haven't been able to pave streets at the level we'd all like, the limitation of funds there, how we're utilizing our funds and making sure that we continue to improve our budget and make sure it's used wisely. We entered the pandemic headed into a negative general fund reserve. We were down negative $200,000. I'm very proud to say that over the past four years, we've managed to restore that general fund reserve to $8 million. At the same time, we're the first council under my leadership to begin putting money aside in a capital improvement program to address old infrastructure and potentially improve our police and fire department buildings, not just the equipment inside and the services we're providing with the staffing, but maybe start improving those buildings that are well over 30, 40, 50 years old. And last but not least, to work on things like, again, generating a community where jobs are developed, companies are coming and growing, and housing's available to those individuals as they come to our community so they don't have to commute and they don't have to seek jobs elsewhere. And um, what issues would you like to address um, as mayor? You know, I think it's the ongoing inclusion of everyone in our community. I've worked, worked long and hard to make sure that everyone felt welcome at city council meetings, that we had events for the community, that Parks and Rec was putting on a variety of events for all of our citizens. We are improving city council meetings by implementing uh, new technology that will allow you to have a bilingual resource to hear and speak. We are making sure that we have enough staff in order to make sure that 
your permit processing and your applications for building are going smoother. There's technology that's been put in place to assist with that and looking at how do we invest our money so that we are not burdened with the debt of retirement but are improving our community while paying down that debt. And uh, any message to the Lompoc community? It's been an honor to serve as your mayor for the past six years. I love this community and I really hope that you will confirm another two years so we can t continue the amazing work we've done over the past four. I look forward to hearing from you and working with you. Awesome. Thank you.